Bom dia, bom dia, bom dia, you guys. I'm so excited about this video because it's a new segment that I want to introduce here to the channel, Karina Saudaris. If you're not a subscriber yet, please do subscribe on the button down here. It helps me tremendously you guys know the drill leave me those thumbs up anything goes your comments anything so for this i've been wanting to start this for a while to bring you guys seasonal trends and if this is something that you guys enjoy that you find beneficial you find that there's actually real tips in here that's really helpful i can bring it more often and maybe even break them down by the types of trends so right now in this video, we're going to talk about summer or spring, summer 2023 trends. I have 15 trends for you guys that I've picked up. I just kind of try to narrow them, um, you know, and not be like a hundred trends or whatever, because everything can be trendy, but just really narrow down to the ones that you're going to be seeing it all over the place. What I think it's worth investing on, what I think you can skip and all of that good stuff. So if you guys do enjoy this, I can break them down into maybe accessories and shoes and other kinds of things like specific clothing. That's why your comments are so, so important for me because I know what you're liking and I know what you're not liking. So just make sure to let me know here in the comments below. In the specific video, we're gonna talk about a little bit about everything that is trending right now. So there's a little bit of shoes, a little bit of accessories, a little bit of clothing, fits, and collars. So, ready for this? Let's jump in. I wanna start with something that I love every summer that comes around. I have a piece of straw something, but this year you're gonna see that way more in totes, bags, shoulder bags, like this little H&M here that I picked up the other day. The Anina Bing that everybody swears this is like a monogrammed bag and I just hate to tell them it's not monogrammed, it's just Anina Bing, not Karina Resky. <laughs> but you guys, I love this bag so much. So this one unfortunately is out of stock. I will double check and try to leave the link for you guys in here and you can try to see. Um, and it fits a lot less things, but it's so, so cute. So this is a great dupe for the Prada bag that you're seeing around. Just a really nice bag, but definitely way more of an investment. So this is kind of like the most affordable option. And then I'd say the Yanina will be right in between about 300, 350. And then you have the Prada on the thousand dollar plus side. So to me, this is plenty, this is enough. I've traveled with this a couple different times. So I do think it's worth investing in a piece of a big like straw tote, does not need to be a uh, designer or anything, but you are going to be seeing some things like this. Not so much at the bamboo, but more of the, the pliable, this like movable, you know, kind of slouchy look with the straw. Second trend I have for you guys is linen. So linen has been really, really strong last season, kind of wanting to make a comeback, but now there's linen everywhere. So you find all kinds of linen pieces. So this, oversized shirt here I picked up last year. This is actually a swim piece and I'll try to find photos for all of these for you guys. And this has been such a great piece for me. This is a size small. It is long enough to be worn as a bathing suit cover up. You can definitely size up. I actually have bought newer shirts, newer linen shirts in size extra large just to be worn as a bathing suit cover up. I think it's so chic. It's beautiful. Personally love li uh, linen. You guys but I do know it's kind of like a love-hate relationship because people are like, I hate that it wrinkles. But to me, it's just a rich look. It's like, I don't care. It gives me all of the like, you know, European coast vibes. It's like rich people all wrinkled up and beautiful and smelling good and in a boat drinking their champagne. That's what Linen brings me uh, this vibe. So if you love it, definitely go for it. Invest in all the linen because it's gonna be huge. And if you don't love it, but you wanna start dabbing on it, I recommend this. This is a good one. It's an oversized, as a bathing suit cover up, an oversized shirt. This is a great way to start because it's not gonna uh, wrinkle as much as a pair of pants 
or a pair of shorts or bottoms in linen wood. Great investment. I'm like huge on the shirts. Shoe shirts is another trend that's like staying in, you know, since last year. Let's talk about Taylor. Taylor pieces have always or also have been making a comeback. You've seen the pleated trousers everywhere for seasons now, and it's gonna stay really, really strong for summer. I actually have a few of them that I love. One you guys have seen, if you follow me on Insta, oh my gosh, I can't stop posting about these because it's on my bestseller list. Like every single week, you guys, I'm almost like, okay, let's just pick something else. But it's such a good pair of pants. I just ordered this in the shorty version. This is the favorite daughter tailored trouser. It is just really like there's feeling even because I've worn this everywhere to travel in, like to the airport, on the plane, on a car ride. It's not only for work. So this is the difference between tailored pieces from the past and now, 2023. Tailored pieces are being worn to anything from a brunch to airplane to like, you know, loose fits, just beautiful weekend wear. So don't think office only when it comes to tailored, especially tailored trousers, tailored bra blazers to everything is oversized. And um, these are my favorites. So if you want something a little more on the budget, I recommend these ones from Amazon. This is really a loose fit. So you have a lot of these trends have like multiple pieces of trends in the one piece. So this one is the trouser, which is the tailor pant. However, it's really loose fit, which loose fit and oversize is really in also. And then in this case here, the linen, this one's just came in the mail. I literally took it out of the bag because I wanted to show you guys. So pay no attention to all the wrinkles, but this is another great example of how linen is coming back in bottoms. Uh, but also you have the tailored piece, a part of it and the loose feet as well. So definitely invest in these. This is, this is going to be your more high end price. This is going to be your middle one, Abercrombie, and the Amazon will be your most affordable option for um, tailored trousers. Let's talk about stripes. I've mentioned this on a couple of other videos, how stripes are definitely back. And I mean, they never really left, but it's they're really, really strong right now. So I recommend you guys um, just getting something that's stripe and it goes all stripes go. So definitely the more classic, like thin horizontal lines, you know, like this one from Cezanne that I showed you guys on the previous video. This is just beautiful. I love everything about the sweater, but also the more bold and vertical lines. This one's the J. Crew um, cover up. It's really long with the side slits, really beautiful too definitely gives me European vibes, this guy here. It's just so nice. You can definitely wear as a dress if you belt it. So super worth investing in a piece that you can, you know, purpose it in different ways, like style it differently so you can get a lot out of them. This is something, you guys, also that will really never get out of style. So a lot of these trends are just changing the silhouette or some some kind of like fit that, you know, once the fit is done, then it's totally done. Think of skinny jeans. Skinny jeans were in for like a decade and now we're done with it. Like I cannot see another pair of skinny jeans. I don't think anybody can like, we're, we've moved on to straight leg and now we're going to the opposite end, you know, so it usually kind of swings to one extreme slowly to another. That's kind of how fashion goes. And now that's what we're seeing with the jeans too. It went from super skinny jeggings all the way to maybe straight, a little more slim, da da da, full. Now we're just seeing like this, you know, ginormous baggy jeans, which is another trend, but we're going to talk about this in a minute. So yes, this is another example. And then here is a set that I love from Amazon too. Sets are also really, really in matching sets. So try to invest in something like this. This is one that's more affordable too from Amazon, but you can find a lot of these guys here on a sale. 
that would be even cheaper than the Amazon option. So for the fifth trend, I dabbled it a little bit, is the loose fit. So for loose fit, I decided to pick up this blazer here because it's brand new, just arrived. This is the Quinn blazer from Anina Bing. I got this in the size extra small. However, it's very, very, very oversized. So I would even say it's safe to say that you can size down unless you want that super bold, you know, shoulder pad. This reminds me so much of like a dad blazer, you know, something that you would find in like a thrift store or something like this. It's beautifully made though. So it's really high end. I love the fabric, but the fit is very large, almost like the person who donated this to you was too big. <laughs> something like that but it is what's in right now you guys and you see the loose fit in just all across the board you will see in jeans you will see in the shirts you would see in the t-shirts uh and sweater sweat sets like even like the more tailored sets like the tailored pants you would see that full loose oversized fit very much across the board for number six we have the all denim look i don't have one out here but it's basically everywhere. This is also something that's just never really out of style. If you love it, you love it. And I know if you don't, you don't. So it's one of those things like wear it or not, it's not a mandatory trend. None of these are really, but you can always wear a denim on denim look and, and feel fresh and cool. You know, like they call it the Canadian suit. So, but that's coming back sort of big this year too. For number seven, we also have another denim piece and it's the maxi skirt. You guys, I have not found one that I'm like in love with because it is kind of like an out there trend. It's not gonna be one that pleases everyone. I know people are kind of twisting their nose over it. Like, do I like this? Do I not like this? It's cool. I feel like you can, as a tip is, if you are kind of like thinking about it, you can style it as a pair of jeans, you know, except that it's a full on skirt. So I personally would recommend to spend, you know, to go to a place where you can find a good fit for less, like pieces that are super trendy like that, I would not personally buy the most expensive or the nicer designer jeans because it is something that's gonna be more of a fad, like you're not gonna see that lasting for too long. So personally, I like on the things that are too trendy, I like to spend a little bit less. And if you like the trend, go ahead and play with it, but just go for the more affordable options. For the next trend, we have the cargo pants. So talked a little bit about it. This is my H&M one that I ended up keeping. Haven't really gotten a lot of wear out of it yet, but the cargo and the parachute pants, which I also got the Zara ones and they were posted, oh, I can't remember on the Zara video. I didn't end up keeping the Zara ones because I just didn't love the fit, but I ended up keeping this guys here. So both of those pants are more of that loose fit and you're gonna see those design details too a lot. So I, I do still want to try to find the perfect parachute pants and the perfect cargo pants. And I feel like we have plenty of time, but these are a couple of styles that are really going to be in the season. Number nine, baggy jeans. So talked a little bit about this. I actually did a video on styling this from Express. These are my favorite baggy jeans. And I promised you guys I was not thinking anything of them when I first purchased. They are very exaggerated baggy jeans. Almost lo looks like bell bottoms, ex except that they are like full all the way down and not just like a narrow and then opening. So they are the baggy jeans. I love how there's a little bit of a pleat happening in here. So the waist is actually really cute and very feminine. And then you have this very edgy kind of like laid back vibe with the big um, wide leg in here. So these are the only ones that I found that I'm like completely in love with. I do, I am open to find more because I think the look is so cool, so edgy, so, you know, on trend right now. So if these are still available, I'll link them here so you guys can check it out. Really, really like this. Number 10, bucket hats. 
You guys, this guys have been trying to make a comeback and they're still there. Gen Z is all about them. I personally was like, oh, not for me until I found this cute little straw hat here. This is a Janessa Leon. Definitely more of an investment piece. If you don't think you're gonna be wearing a ton or going to the beach a ton, Mm, maybe don't invest in this particular brand. You know, the, what I like about this one specifically is that it's packable. So I've traveled with it in my uh, suitcase just like this and you can just uh, open it and they still look so, so cute. It's not gonna destroy like my lack of color Palma wide brim hats here that I've had for years to come. Now, you guys, these are not out of style. These are kinds of like, to me, my, my opinion, they are classics. So they're really good. I love a wide brim uh, hat, especially because of my melasma, I have to protect my face. So I do love these and I still travel with them, have to be a little more careful packing. But these, if you're looking for a more trendy, I think that these are really cute. They do have the wide brim sort of buckety hats out there. Also, there's a Janessa Leon uh, that is a black one. It's just a little expensive too. And I'm like, I need to pick what I wanted to spend. And it's a little more trendy too. So I decided to just buy this one, but who knows to the end of summer, I might get myself something else. But this is the one that's trending in right now. And this is the one that's classic. For number 11, we have ball caps. So still in the hats game in here, ball caps have been really strong for the past years, but right now they're not just a sporty look vibe. You, you're seeing them with suits, you're seeing them with tailored trousers, pants, just a little more dressy vibes. I just wouldn't put them for like, obviously like a gown or anything like that, but you can even wear them. I feel like it's appropriate with the right outfit for dinner, you know, for a night out or whatever. I love having the option of these despite being on trend or not, just because for bad hair days or whatnot, I think they're so good. They protect the face too. So just invest in a good fitting ones. I love the brand 47. This is a good kind of in the middle brand that fits really well. Adidas has a nice women's fit that I feel like it fits my head a little bit better than a lot of them. And the Moran is that kind of like expensive one that's really fun. And I feel like this is the one that you can definitely dress up a little more. Number 12, we have the Light Lenses Sunnies. So they're all over the place, you guys. I would not recommend buying something super expensive myself just because it's not something that's gonna stay on unless you're like super cool and then you can pull it off anytime, like J-Lo people, celebrity style. That's just elevates the look automatically. I personally need something that has a little more color just because, you know, defeats the purpose. But it's if you're just looking for something for like the end of afternoon to look cool for like a boating or whatnot, just to be on trend, then the light lenses, collars or sunnies are so, so hot right now. I've, I did see some on a Target too, so that's an option to have it. I will try to find a picture that I took there, but I might not, so no promises here. But yes, look for less expensive options, but if you wanna look sharp and cool, there's definitely good options out there as well. For number 13 is the micro mini length. I It's funny because there's all this maxi stuff being worn, but then there's the opposite of it, which is the super micro mini things. I'm not into them, but I'm not gonna say never because you just never know. I think it depends on the situation. It can be totally doable. Um, if it's more of like a loose fit, something that's completely out is like that bandage type of like super mini body hugging, body con styles. They're a thing of the past, thank goodness. But now we have some of the mini lengths, but it will be more of like, a tennis skirt or a, like a pleated skirt or like this little little linen shorts. And then the Bermuda shorts are in shoe, which brings me to the longer shorts. This have also, these have also been coming back since last year. Like you had the long Parker ones. 
that I prefer nowadays. And I just got these ones from Abercrombie the Dad jeans too. I've had all kinds of versions of the longer jeans. I like this one is for you who's not really into the Bermuda, the full length ones, but you are you don't want the booty, you know, cutoffs either. So this is a good in between. I personally love the Bermuda. I love it to be full too. I love it to be very menswear, very edgy, styled with a cute feminine, you know, top. Then you can kind of balance the look a little bit, but it also looks super cool with a oversized blazer. Like the look right now is very slouchy. It's very menswear taken into like you stole your whole like husband's, dad's, grandpa's wardrobe type of thing. <laughs> Okay, then number 14, I wanted to talk a little bit about shoes. So another big trend that's coming up is metallics. There's lots of metallics in clothing and in um, accessories. I picked these uh, little slingbacks, square toe from Zara the other day. It has a little bit of a block heel. So block heels, uh, slingbacks, square toes, metallics, metallic here in this J Crew too, which this is so comfortable. Just came back from Miami. Either you know, what all, all, all kinds of metallics, not just silver or gold, but I've seen in green, I've seen in like rose gold. All types of metallics are in. As far as shoes, I'd say ballerinas definitely more flat shoes. The slingback ones. Mary Jane's Western boots too. So you can do the tall ones, but for spring and summer, I would go more of like a booty or maybe like a in, the, in between, you know, in between length. Those are super cool with the low heel too. So everything is very low, very flat, like the low first shoe, chunky shoes. So it's kind of like, like I said, it's carry on from that masculine vibe and the feminine vibe will always be in, guys. You can always rock a pair of, you know, high heels, sandals that's classy and beautiful. But if we're looking into the trends, it's more of the clunky, chunky, masculine vibes or, or even the ballet, you know, flats and that type of thing. And last but not least, we're going to talk about collars. So all the browns are going to be super, super strong this season, continuing, which I'm so glad because brown is my jam. I love, love, love. So this one's a little bit... Um, loved <laughs> because I've worn a quite a few times, but anything that you have that's brown or earthy colors. So you think, you know, beiges, creams, I, I am favoring the beiges, ivories, more of like the warm tones rather than the starchy whites. So that's just something to think about one, you know, when you're shopping, obviously there's all the seasons. Like if you guys are really into your coloring, I think I'm a fall. So I tend to gravitate towards warmer collars more so than cooler collars. But if you are a different season and you like the cooler collars, it doesn't mean you cannot wear. I'm just saying this is what's in right now. So lots of very warm versions of collars. So, so all the terracotta, like just think very in nature, warm, fall hues, vibes. Now I have seen a lot of pinks and a lot of greens. So these are two colors that I personally don't have a whole lot of bold colors in my wardrobe, especially because I feel like it's so hard to just throw them with or together. Like these ones work really, really well together because they are opposite in the wheel. So obviously it works so good, but um, I tend to gravitate more towards the neutrals because you can wear them with everything and anything in your wardrobe. Now, if you do like collar, you can look for the opposites, you know, the complementary collars, that's what they're called. So purples with yellows, you know, reds with greens and the variants, you know, reds, pinks, whatever. And that kind of thing, like oranges and blues and that kind of thing. They also work as a pop of color in your neutral outfit. I had a shot that I did for Nordstrom and I had a very neutral outfit with the tailored trousers, the oversized blazer, and then I popped this guy in and it looked so cool. Um, I think you guys really liked it too. So that's another tip that you can do if you're trying to dabble into color or if you already love color. You can do whatever, but um, those are my tips to kind of coordinate and make them 
work for you, you know? And that was it for today, you guys. I hope that you enjoy this video. I This is the first time that I'm doing something like this. So I'm sorry I was a little bit all over the place. I hope that I could get the message across and this was really helpful for you to narrow down the things that you want to see, the things that you don't care for, and what to expect for spring and summer 2023. Now, what I want to know from you guys is like, did I miss anything? Did I not talk about something that you're seeing out there? Or which one of the strands is the one that you're like, I'm dying to get myself one of this or one of that. I'm dying to know that. Thank you so much for your love and support. Don't forget to leave me the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. Um beijo. Tchau, tchau.